Greetings everybody. Let's continue with our discussion of source-free vector fields. So kind of coming from our last discussion, we've got this idea now of what it really means for something to be source-free. It means that um, in a simply connected region that our flux integrals are, that the divergence of our vector field is going to be um, zero and that's going to give us that our flux integrals are going to be always going to be zero in that case. And so if we're then given a vector field f that looks like minus 8 um, y cubed x plus 7 natural log of x and 2y to the fourth minus 7y over x, um, we want to determine if that thing is going to be source free and if so can we find the stream function for f. So how do we go about doing that? Well, if we look at the domain of that vector field, then we've got the only thing that we really have to worry about is we've got an x in the denominator, and then we've got an x that's an argument for a natural log. And so for the domain, we just need our x's to be positive. If our x's are positive, we're fine. So that's going to give us kind of this right half plane. And so that is a simply connected region, too. We don't have any holes in that one. And so since it's simply connected, determining if it's source free is just really saying is the divergence of that vector field going to be zero. So for the divergence, we've got del dot f. So we take the partial with respect to x for the first component plus the partial with respect to y for the second component. Well, the partial with respect to x of minus 8y cubed x plus 7 natural log of x. The x cancels, the x goes away in the first um, term. Then the derivative of our natural log gives us 7 over x. Taking the partial with respect to y for the second component gives us 8y cubed minus, cancels that, so it um, annihilates that y in the numerator for our second term and we just get a minus 7 over x. And so what happens when we cancel each one of those we sure enough get that we have 0 for the divergence. So for a simply connected region divergence is 0. This thing is source free. And so if it is source free then that means we can find a vector potential for doing this. So in two dimensions, our vector potential takes the form of just a scalar function times the, um, in the z direction. So taking the curl of that thing gives us this expression, partial y of um, g in the first component minus partial x of g in the second component, and so we get our f. So we want this tau to be equal to our original vector field f. So how do we come up with these? Um, how do we find this? Well, the partial with respect to y is our first component. So we set that equal to a minus 8y cubed x plus 7 natural log of x. So we just integrate with respect to y, which gives us a minus 2xy to the fourth plus 7y natural log of x plus an arbitrary function of the remaining variable that we had. Well, we're integrating with respect to y, so it's got to be an arbitrary function for x. So for our second component, it has to be the partial with respect to x. And so that's going to, if we take the partial with respect to x of what we just calculated, then we obtain um, minus 2y to the fourth plus 7y over x plus the derivative of our function h. That should be the negative of the part of the of our second component. So that gives us the negative of 2y to the fourth minus 7y over x. So really for this one what we've done is we've taken the partial with respect to x. We've moved that negative to the other side um, so that we take the negative of our second component which everything cancels just leaving us with the derivative of our unknown function just being zero so we know that our unknown function was just constant in that case. So our g of xy looks like minus 2xy to the fourth plus 7y natural log of x 
And so this becomes our stream function. We can just take our arbitrary constant to be zero. Our stream function then has the form minus two xy to the fourth plus seven y natural log of x. And our vector potential has the form minus two xy to the fourth plus seven y natural log of x in the z direction. And so this kind of gives us a demonstration of how we can determine if a vector field is going to be source free. We look at the divergence in any simply connected region. The divergence being zero guarantees that it's source free. And then we do a similar procedure to what we did with um, conservative vector fields to then find the scalar or to find the vector potential function and the component function of that one is just our stream function for the vector field. So I hope this has kind of given you some idea of how you proceed on those problems and I will see you guys next time.